But so now we're going to go back to like games that actually exist as applications and pieces of software. Uh, this one is Soul. A surreal adventure game. We play as the only source of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Wander through uninhabited environments, painting the land with light as you uncover its mysterious past. Alrighty then. Getting a lot of uh, atmospheric exploration going on this week. I really appreciate, honestly, I like that. Press anything to begin. I think it's supposed to be keyboard mouse. Press your luck to begin. Like the audio. Okay, there we go. Can I can I control her this? Yes, I can control her this. It really feels like this this is controller. A tree! Let's just move around, I suppose. This is feeling like uh, the rumble activation is toggle. Because it's still rumbling. Still rumbling. <laughs> We're just growing trees. All of a sudden, I can't move the camera? I guess that did a thing. Alright. So we need to do that two more times and then we can get through that gate. I guess that's why it was locking our camera to make sure we paid attention to that. There's a rumble again. Yeah, definitely hit that before falling down here. And I don't think you're getting back up. Rumble continues. Okay. We can't jump, so we have to like ramp. Time to crate. The 
It's like a market or something. It feels like very dominant audio. Like, it's very, very overt. This fight, like, it sounds like it's a certain kind of atmospheric music, but being this loud, uh, kind of dominates. At least it feels loud uh, compared to the last few things we've done. Also feels slightly loud because the controller keeps rumbling. I know, like, controller rumble has nothing to do with audio levels, but it's like more aggressive in general. Market area. I'm guessing there are five things we uh, we want to collect, and we found one of them. down this way. Looks like another one of those symbols. The rumble finally stopped. Only to start again because I hit this tree. Yeah, that's two... two pieces. I'm just kind of assuming that we want all of them. I don't actually know that, but I'm just taking cues from the UI. You know, the sort of thing that gets emphasized on the UI is the sort of thing that I feel is probably important because, you know, it's emphasized. Let's go over here, I guess. Actually, wait, is this middle thing, like, an interactable spire? It looks like no. Yeah, I do see some interactable things up here, though. And, like, the light was pointing this way first, so maybe there's... Stuff here we want. We need to go back up to get that last tree. Way, this is reminding me of Cairo, uh, which is another like adventure game that visually was very minimalist on uh, on texture and shape and all of that, but it wasn't like flash shaded. Uh, you know, it still had texture, like this does. It was very like sparse and atmospheric. 
It was more of a puzzle than an exploration, but... For some reason, that's coming to mind right now. That, I think, was also a lot moodier than this. But this has mood, but... I don't know if I would use the term moody for it, you know? Nothing back there. Got no way I'm getting up that ladder. I do want to get upstairs, though. If that's at all possible. Partly because, like, this is where... Yeah, this is where the light's going. And it just makes sense to try to follow it. I guess maybe I need to go around to get there. can't jump or anything. So we're uh, we're limited by our rolling. Or I guess our hovering glide, whatever it is. However we locomote. tree we can restore. If I can find how to get up there. There have been spots where I could do that this whole time. Rawr, whoops. Not intended. If you have a name today, you should eat. I am in favor of food. I just went down and grabbed Subway before the stream. There's one like in my building. Like, whatever. It's easy. We can go up here. Hmm. Another collectible. leaves too. Then we have a tower that vaguely resembles Dilbert's head. Kind of a weird one. Uh, you can like see the light that we've painted. Is this like everywhere that we have gone? It starts to glow. Yeah. Everywhere you go begins to glow. Interesting. Uh, this is a repeater. Alright, so that's that one. 
this is, yep, another... Kind of like a hint tile. Like, kind of nudging you towards what you're supposed to do here. There was just a stairway. Oh, wait, no, this is the upper floor. Never mind. I was like, did I really look through this entire. <laughs> the entire library and not just see. I think I did just miss the obvious stairway. Yep. Good job, Bunny. For sure, this that crystal is gonna be a repeater of some sort. That's going to uh, get it the last last bit of the way. I think this time it's going to begin from way over here because we did activate that one that isn't doing anything yet. Suppose that could be part of it. Making it like interesting scene so far. It's like with a color balance and all that. Now that's happening. So we've been up there. We started going this way, and then I feel like I got redirected. Yeah, it's like there's... Oh, there's there's the objective. Okay, so I need to get on this bridge. Work, working the, the puzzle backwards. I'm going down, but I need to find a way up. Can't get into that. Um, what do I find if I keep going? I find this. We're only missing one. Hopefully, it's not like in the starting area. I do want to try to gather all of them. You know, 100% strats. The routing is terrible, though. Not going to get world record. Is it really this obvious? Yes. Yes, it is. My Sherlockian powers of observation solve the puzzle yet again.
confirm it. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the hunt for that last piece. Because I suspect it's off on the other side. Unless, like, that's literally it that we just summoned. But I kind of doubt it. That's what we like. explore over here for a little while until I find that piece or convince myself that it's back up in the starting region. I mean, we saw on the other side, like, very easy for me to miss things in this, uh, in this game. Particularly, like, not noticing the existence of a path. It's a path down here? Yes, and it's one we've taken. down or up goes goes both ways ah oh, yes that's the uh the crystal oh one of these that uh didn't think to activate This rate, it's probably indoors. In one of these collapsed buildings. up here already. Add to have. That's where that is. So, like, it can't be here. The unceasing rumble has gotten on my nerves by now. Just for the record. Yes, it does not stop. There, it stopped. I'm, I'm really starting to think the, uh, the last piece is either back up at the start or it's like after I do this thing. So I'm going to hope it's after I do this thing.
I'm gonna hope this doesn't just like end the game. That ended it. Okay. Um, so I guess the last pickup was either at the start or somewhere that I just couldn't figure out existed. One or the other. Um, or we did get all of them and that's like a, uh, a next symbol. I don't know. Um, overall, I'm like a little eh about that one. The the music is is pretty nice, and I like that kind of environment, like that that kind of sparse setting that isn't just completely low poly, low texture, low everything. Uh. But I do think, like, there was a little bit about the actual, like, gameplay experience that I wasn't totally sold on. I'm not sure, like, how to express that. Like, you can, you can do, like, an aesthetic exploration kind of thing of something very atmospheric uh and as long as the gameplay like the the mechanics of how you move about the world how you interact with things if those don't get in the way then great uh the moment those start to get in the way you can't really have the kind of experience that you're trying to develop for Um, and I don't think they necessarily got in the way there, but they were not supporting. I think it's the best way to put it. Uh, uh, excuse me. Drinking kombucha and not highly caffeinated things. Uh, that's, that's, that's my grave error. Uh, Yeah, like, like I said, I, I compare that one kind of to Cairo in my head, being more atmospheric than that one is puzzling. I hope it has a similar level of variety. Uh, I was, I'm looking at the screenshots, and I'm not positive. I'm a little hopeful, but... Uh, but it's... it's pretty hard to tell like how much how much interaction how many different types there are uh but i don't know i might be expecting like more gaminess as opposed to atmospheric stuff so that might be a little bit of my complaint also the rumble would not stop and like that actually aggravates me sometimes. Uh, knowing nothing about game programming, I don't know how easy that is to not do, but anytime a game does that, I'm like, really? So 